Hello and welcome to our second of four, line, four live streams celebrating the Global Accessibility Awareness Day. My name's Emma and I'm part of the discovery team here at Three. My team's job is to promote the benefits of mobile technology and help everyone learn essential digital skills. We do this in a lot of different ways and just one of them is here on YouTube. If you check out the Discovery playlist on the 3UK channel, you'll see lots of helpful information, lots of helpful videos to inspire you to get more from your tech. And so today we're going to be live throughout the full day showing off some handset features and apps that help make mobile tech accessible to all. So to celebrate the 10th GAD, we had the first YouTube Live with a demo of some of the settings in both iOS and Android devices aimed at people with vision needs. And this session is a demo of the settings on iOS and Android aimed at people with hearing needs. So if you know someone or you could benefit from making your phone easier to use, stay tuned for the next 20 minutes or so and please do send in any questions for us to answer. At 12 o'clock we've got our next demo focused on dexterity needs with Alan and our last demo at 1 o'clock is with Ali from our three live team who will feature some app recommendations for those with additional needs such as depression, autistic spectrum disorder and ADHD. So there's a lot to get stuck into today, all of the streams will be interactive and we'd love to hear from you throughout. So the agenda of what we're going to be going through with this particular session is we're going to be looking at Apple and Android and we're going to be looking at the hearing devices and aid support. We're going to look at the sound recognition that's available. We're looking at amplifying ambient sounds from adapting sounds. We've got the options of flash alerts and notifications. We can look at live, trans uh, live transcribe as well as some alternative features and subtitles and captioning. And then, of course, we can take a look as well at the accessibility shortcuts. Okay, so the first device that I'm going to demonstrate with is the iPhone. Okay, so with the iPhone, what we would need to do is, of course, head straight into settings, and then we'd need to scroll down to the option of accessibility. So when we go through in the accessibility, we'll just need to go down a little bit to the option of where we have hearing and we can then choose hearing devices. So this one here will actually show you where we've got an option. So as soon as we were to open this up, if you actually have an Apple hearing aid, then this would automatically search for that device here. Now, should you be using a different type of hearing aid, you can check the hearing compatibility just by tapping here to switch on or you can then head actually to your Bluetooth settings which would be in the main settings where you would go and you would then be able to actually go and um, connect via here but as I mentioned before if it if you do actually have an Apple hearing device you would automatically be able to connect on this part here so we're going to go back out of that and then we're going to go into the option of sound recognition. Okay, so as soon as I tap on that, what we can now do is switch the sound recognition on. Okay, so what this is going to do on the device is your iPhone is going to continuously listen for certain sounds. Okay. Um, and it's going to be using what we call the on-device intelligence to notify you of when any sounds may be recognized that your phone is familiar with. Now, another good option that you can do with this is you can actually choose uh, to have your phone recognize specific sounds. So we can go into the option of sounds and you will see here that we've got anything to do with the alarms. We've got animals, so if you have any pets, we've got any different household appliances as well. So from, uh, uh, as I say, appliances to car horn to doorbell, door knock, water running, and then even people where we can switch them on and have, for example, with the baby crying, it could be shouting or there could be some coughing 
under people. So as soon as you choose any of these sounds, your phone will start to recognize them all the time and therefore would be able to notify you if these sounds do go off, okay? All you would need to do is activate them by just tapping on each of the options that you would like to have recognized. So I'm just gonna go back out of that now and then go back out again and then we're gonna move into the audio and visual. So we're gonna tap that option. So with the audio, we can actually customize certain um, different types of audio when it comes to Apple products. So the Apple Beats, or it could just be the Apple headphones itself. And these accommodations, when you go in and you actually switch them on, you need to have them, of course, already connected and we can actually choose uh, different options of a custom audio setup. So if we were to request and look at the tune audio with regards to a balanced tone, we could have an option of the vocal range as well, and as well as an option of brightness. So when we decide to custom tune, every time we choose, for example, a balanced tone, as we are listening, we are able, as I say, to choose whether we want a slight or we want the moderate or we would like the strong. And all we'd need to do is just move across the option, okay? And we'll do exactly the same when it would come to the vocal range as well as the brightness. So we can customize that so it will accommodate, as I say, what we prefer when it comes to having our headphones um, for example, Apple headphones or Apple Beats actually connected. So we are comfortable with what we are hearing. And also, of course, what you will be able to do is play a sample of it as well. So once you've done that, you'll be able to find what is the right one, what's, what you are comfortable with hearing at that particular point, and then decide to apply it, whether it's just for the phone or if it's just for media, or you can choose the option of both. And you'll see here that I actually have them both switched on. If you just prefer the phone, you can remove the media and switch that off and just have the phone there or vice versa. So that's with regards to the headphone audios. Now I'm just gonna go back out of there, okay? Now within audio and visual as well, we also have the option with the mono audio. And what that means is, you know how sometimes when you could be watching a movie or listening to certain music, and what happens is the, the sound goes from the left to the right. Um, now sometimes if somebody has some hearing difficulties, uh, if it's not you know in both ears, it could be in just one, that can be quite uh, confusing and it can be quite difficult then to understand what you're listening to. So you have an option here of where you can actually choose mono audio. And when you actually switch that on, it's going to play in exactly the left and the right speakers the same content. The next option we have is what we call the phone noise cancellation as well. So what this will do is we'll, it will reduce any types of uh, ambient noises in the background. Uh, as soon as you tap that on, it's just going to help. So if you are, for example, taking the, your phone and actually lifting it, lifting it up towards your ear, then it will just, as I say, remove any of that ambience noise uh, in the background itself. So once you've actually got those options, you are then able as well to choose and adjust the balance a little bit as well. So you can decide to go from left or to go to right as well. And again, this is for you to kind of custom tune that balance as to what is comfortable for you when you are, as I say, using your device to be able to, to listen to whether it's music that's playing through or whether you are, as I say, receiving a phone call and listening to someone on the device. Now, we do have another option as well, is, of course, sometimes... Um, we might need to have some support when it comes to sort of flashing alerts. And the iPhone has built into it what we call the LED flash alerts, okay? 
all we would need to choose is to switch that on and then our phone should we have any sort of notifications that come through it could be messages telephone calls we would actually get the flash notifications and alerts that would appear on our phone we can also choose as well to have flash on silence so we would just choose that so if our phone is on silent we'd be able to still receive all of the different types of alerts uh, should somebody as I say be calling us so that's the audio and visual so far when it comes to our Apple devices I'm just going to scroll out of that option now and now we're going to move into the subtitles and captioning okay so when we open that up and we choose it now what happens here is this is actually very specific to other Apple devices that you've actually got and what this can actually do is help you translate a uh, certain text uh, into into the into video dialogue but what this is compatible with is mostly uh, supported with apps such as your Apple TV and Apple podcasts itself and what you will be able to do then is even choose, as I say, uh, if you are, for example, watching something connected to your Apple TV or um, listening to an Apple podcast, this is where you'll be able to get the closed captions from that. And you can as well adjust the style of, of the text. So if you feel that you need the text to be large, you can then choose the option. You would be able to choose if you prefer a transparent background the large text we've also got what we call the classic and we've also got an outline text as well and you've even got an option if you wanted to create a new style also and the other part we've got here as well is if you do have an Apple HomePod you can actually also have this connected where you can link through and show any types of audio transcriptions now, just to kind of show you another alternative feature um, is if you are, for example, um, having a conversation with somebody and you would finding it quite difficult to understand what is being said. So Apple recently in one of their updates uh, chose and added in a translate. Now, this is really about you, you know, using it to translate with different languages, but you could also use this as a tool to help you understand what is being said around you. And all you would need to do is make sure that you have the translate uh, downloaded on your device. As soon as you tap it open, at the top we've got an option as I say of the different languages uh, so if you know it is you are uh, listening to somebody who is speaking English or if they are speaking a different language you would be able to choose just by tapping on the languages that are available but if you wanted to get a bit of a transcript about what is being said all you would need to do is just go ahead and hit that microphone and then the transcript will actually then be available for you to read um, of what is going on around or what is being said around you. So this is an alternative to that live transcript itself. So that's looking, as I say, at the different uh, uh, Apple um, support that we've got when it comes to the accessibility needs with hearing now what I'd like to do is go through some of these different settings that we've got within our Android device and the demo of uh, the uh, the device that I'm going to be demoing with is actually a Samsung so I'm just going to unlock it okay so if we want to go and head to the settings on our Android device uh, device now again all we need to do is scroll and then look for our accessibility and you'll see it's just a little bit further down okay and there are going to be some slightly different features compared to what's available on our Apple device versus what's available on our Android device so we choose accessibility and then the next option is we're going to look at hearing enhancements 
So I'm going to tap on hearing enhancements. And as I was just mentioning before, uh, with the Apple device, we can go and automatically pair an Apple hearing device directly through uh, that particular one, that particular option. Or, as I say, now with our Android device, as soon as we open up hearing aid support, we can actually then connect uh, straight away any hearing aid through Bluetooth. And all we'd need to do is tap on, and this is where we'd then be able to pair. Okay, so I'm just going to go back out of that. Okay, go back into accessibility, into my hearing enhancements. Now, another option that we do have is where we've also got the amplify ambient sound. And this again is where we can actually connect our headphones itself to, to basically understand some of the features that are available to us. So we can actually uh, listen to, as I say, quite distant sounds. We can then hear them quite clearly. And we just tap on here. And all we'd need to do, as I say, is even create a shortcut. So if I wanted to just automatically be able to go straight into Amplify Ambient Sound, I can just tap on here where I will then have a shortcut which will be added to my device. And you will just see that that will be here at the bottom right of my device the accessibility icon, okay, and that would then be available here. So as we go out of Amplify Ambient Sound, we've also got the option of Adapt Sound as well. So as soon as we go into Adapt Sound, now this is actually quite a, um, a unique um, option that we've got. So what you would need to do is actually plug in some headphones and you can then choose to adapt the sound specifically I have for example here media or calls or you could just have it for media or you could just have it for calls. Now you've got also where you can personalize so based on your current age you could decide to say well you know actually I will go choose the option you know say for example between 30 to 60 or I could decide to do a test my hearing. So I have done the option of testing my hearing but again you've got to make sure that you do have your headphones actually plugged in to do this as it's going to play a lot of different sounds for you and then you're going to actually have to tap to say yes I hear it or no I don't hear it. And then a sound profile will be created for you and you'll see I've actually got a sound profile that has been created and if I tap on where my sound profile is, it will actually give me a full breakdown as well as telling me which is my preferred ear for receiving phone calls. And we'll notice here, my preferred ear for receiving calls is actually my left ear and not my right ear. So this is actually quite a handy uh, feature to have. Um, but again, just make sure you've got some headphones plugged in and you sit nice and you know, sit and really listen to what you can hear versus what you can't hear. And all you'd need to do is choose that option where you would then choose the sound profile itself. And again, you can on a regular basis if you wanted to test my hearing. Okay, so I'm now just going to go out of that option. And as I mentioned, like we have as well in the Apple device, we also can switch on the mono audio, which means that it will play in both left and right speakers what we are listening to, media, sound. Uh, we've got a shortcut here as well where we can choose the option of muting all, all sounds as well. And if we go into now the next part is I showed you on the Apple device, if you wanted to get some live transcription, you could choose that option of translate. Now in the Samsung Android device, it actually does have a live transcribe already built in. So if I was to tap on live transcribe, I am then able, as I say, to adapt any settings that I might need. So these settings could be anything to do with the text size that I prefer to see, the theme, um, as well as language as well. And I can choose the option if I wanted to, to also save any of the transcription. And it will save for up to three days. And I can just, for example, switch that on and I can choose the option to also show the icon in my app list as well. 
So I'm just going to go out of those settings and I'm going to show you now if you want to start live transcribe we can then choose the option of open okay and I've also as well connected a shortcut as well which would be available in my accessibility icon at the bottom right of my phone so open live transcribe and then automatically we will then be able to see and have the text that is available to us of what is being said around us as well. So this, as I say, is another option um, if you are needing any additional support with uh, hearing what anyone has to say. So I'm just going to close that one, go back out of there, and then I'm gonna go out of live transcribe and we also have, as I say, the options where we've got the live caption. And this is also about detecting speech automatically to generate certain captions. And you can actually go in there and customize as well when it comes to to do with specifically with language. You can actually hide any profanity as well if you wanted to. And you can also have the option of showing different sound labels. So if somebody was laughing uh, if there was an applause or if there was some music being played, you can actually switch on all of these options uh, just by choosing yes for the live caption, yes to hide the profanity, and yes, I could put on the live caption also in the volume control, which is available here on the side of my phone as well. So these are, as I say, some of the hearing features um, when we have uh, when we're demoing with our Apple device as well as with our Android device. So um, we want to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, as I said, this has been a short demo of some helpful device settings that are designed for those with hearing accessibility needs. If you have missed any of this stream or the previous one on vision related needs and would like to catch up, you can do that right here on 3UK YouTube channel uh, where the video, where today's videos will be added to the Discovery playlist very soon. So my name's Emma, I'm from 3Discovery team and if you'd like to keep learning and discovering more about your device, please head to the link that will be available to check out any of our upcoming free workshops. Uh, we offer these actually every weekday uh, we offer them as virtual sessions which cover a wide range of different apps and skills to really help everyone get more from their devices. And so today we are celebrating the 10th annual Global Accessibility Awareness Day. We've got lots more coming up at 12 o'clock. We have my colleague Alan who's going to be demonstrating features uh, when it comes to dexterity needs. And then we have our final stream at one o'clock with Ali from our three live team who will be demonstrating some apps that can help support in uh, different types such as autism spectrum, ADHD, etc. So thank you for watching and uh, bye bye.